All right, one last attempt, and I'm done. This is a an Insignia TV we bought from Best Buy like years and years and years ago. Uh, I keep trying different ways, taking the zip, taking just the files. So ultimately, I'm on FAT32. I was on FAT. I moved all of the files from the zip onto the root directory of this little flash drive here. We're going to try this one last time. Never done a firmware update, so it's not like there has been one since we bought the TV. This time I'm going to try powering it on with the button on the TV, and hopefully, this time, it'll actually... Oh! Oh! It's doing it! It it never did that before! Uh, it's finally doing the firmware update! So you have to... You can't use the zip, you gotta use the files. Uh, I just uh, pressed the extract button and told it to extract all the files to the flash drive. I opened up the flash drive to verify that all the files were in there individually and there wasn't a folder. And also, I the first time I did this, it was in FAT format, and it wasn't working. This time, I did FAT32, and it worked. So your flash drive has to be FAT32. Just go to my computer, right-click on it, and choose format. And then this flash drive, by default, it wants to be FAT. Just FAT, not FAT16 or 32. So I had to go in there and manually change it to format it in FAT32 mode. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, it's it's a little blue bar. I know you can't really see it on there, but it's actually filling up. I know like on the phone it actually just this one solid color, but it's actually like a purple inside like a white. And see, it's right here. It's moving slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> I'm following it with my finger because you can't. No, there's no way you can see that in the video. It's. It was going fast at first. So man, I tried different things. It said click save as, and then it said verify there's no folders. If there is, take all the files and move it to your uh, internal, like without with a root directory, meaning it's not inside a folder. So I, tr I tried FAT. I took all the files individually put on a flash drive. I was like, oh, that didn't work. So I tried FAT and I took the zip and put it on there. And then I tried FAT32, put the zip on there. Now, <laughs> man, this is like the fifth or sixth attempt at this. And I finally got it. So, this thing has a firmware update. Oh, it's red now. Yeah, you can see that. And, 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 and. Come on. I'm an errand. I'm always going on there every, you know, uh, let's say a few months or more or longer. And I'm checking to see if all my t if any of my TVs have an update. And this is actually the only one that has an update. I've got two insignias and an LG. Please run channel auto scan. No. All right. So now, if I go to menu, I wonder if like. Nope. And I'm going to also try one more thing. I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm not going to make this video very long. Okay, so that file is still on the flash drive, right? I'm going to unplug the TV and wait for the little red light to turn off. Alright, now I'm going to plug it back in. And I'm going to turn it on using the TV. Alright. So, since it already has the latest firmware, oh, every time it's going to do that. Okay. Okay. So, even if you do the update, you need to go on the computer and delete those files, because every time you turn on your computer, it's going to redo the update. Stupid. It, it, it should be smart enough to know, hey, we just did the update, so we don't need to do it again. But, yeah, that's it.